the drum making at Hollywood Park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Bob is going up. Bob is running away. David Diver by five. Yeah, Jack in front. Drawing up. Cougar on the right. That's a firm defense. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief is scrapping. Best pal breaks away. So far as all glass. Real quiet. Piz now along the inside. This is the gutter. Glad you could join us for Sunday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Good nine race program, outstanding feature race. The $70,000 Desert Stormer brings out a classy group of fillies and mares. That's the feature race on the nine race card. Let's get right to the action of race number one. To take you through the nine race card, here's George Ortizar. Thanks, Kurt. Beautiful Sunday afternoon here, Father's Day at Betfair Hollywood Park with plenty of gifts waiting for Dad, including a $101,489 carryover in the pick six. We start the first race, a claiming $12,500 race for three-year-olds and up going six furlongs. The favorite was number one, Valkyrie Missile, but all eyes were on number two, Siempre Mio, owned by Kobe and Paul Racing. That's right, Kobe, Brian, and Paul Gasol. Here's Vic Slam Dunk Stuffer with the call of the first race. They're off. Siempre Mio wins the jump ball and goes for the front from Valkyrie Missile in second. To the outside and Spartan Jet on the attack in third. Then comes Best Logic and Warren's Marshall and the trailer is Gold Medallion. It's a fast break up the backstretch for Siempre Mio and Joy Scott. Siempre Mio leads now by two lengths from Spartan Jet to the outside, Valkyrie Missile, and Between Horses, Best Logic. Then it's five back to Gold Medallion and Warren's Marshall. They leave the back stretch, and it is Siempre Mio in front. Siempre Mio is isolated around the far turn and is about to head into the drive. And Siempre Mio leads by two and a half lengths. Valkyrie Missile tries to come after him in second. Then it's five back to Best Logic and Warren's Marshall top of the stretch. The whip is out on Siempre Mio, but he continues to lead. Valkyrie Missile by about two lengths. Valkyrie Missile through from the inside. Now comes after Siempre Mio. Siempre Mio just a length. Valkyrie Missile alongside. Siempre Mio just a neck. Valkyrie Missile. These two come to the wire. Valkyrie Missile. Siempre Mio going to be close. Siempre Mio. Valkyrie Missile right together. Valkyrie Missile. Siempre Mio. Siempre Mio struck back like the Black Mamba right at the wire. That got him in a photo. It is very, very close. Siempre Mio or Valkyrie Missile, an inch either way. What an incredible horse race to start off the day here at Bedford Hollywood Park. Two noses at the wire and Valkyrie Missile with Rafael Bejarano just edge out. Siempre Mio, Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol so close here in the winner's circle. It is Valkyrie Missile with Rafael Bejarano taking the race. And there was two claims in the race, number one and number two. The two horses involved in the photo were both claimed. Number one by Mike Pender in a three-way shake. And number two, Siempre Mio by Mark Glatt in a six-way shake. On to race number two. Race number two is a claiming race, $10,000. They're going six furlongs, fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. Seven of them go postward. The favorite at post time was number seven at eight to five. Here's Vic Stoffer with the call of race number two. They're at the post. They're off. Perfect start. Lisa Lulu, My Little Morgan, and Roman Charity, Indie Beauty in the mix as well. Then comes Magic Mama, Queenie Marini at the rail, and the trailer is Mo Cheese. Lisa Lulu with company up front from Roman Charity and My Little Morgan. These three right across the racetrack. Indie Beauty is now out sprinted two lengths, sits fourth, but gets the perfect trip. Then comes Queenie Marini, fifth at the rail, the gray, and about four from the front. Two trailers are Magic Mama and Mo Cheese, three right across the racetrack, leaving the backstretch. My Little Morgan at the rail, Roman Charity between horses, and Lisa Lulu, three wide. Indy Beauty is traveling nicely just in behind that threesome. Going to go up four wide, got a tap on the right shoulder, three quarters of a length off to lead. Indy Beauty's on the move. Queenie Marini is now fifth, but only two from the front. She's going to need a way through top of the stretch, wide open. Indy Beauty, four deep, challenges Roman Charity. Lisa Lulu is backed out. My Little Morgan to the outside and Magic Mama and Indy Beauty takes a short lead, but Roman Charity battles right back at her and Magic Mama trying to spring and a monster upset and here she comes at 35 to 1 Magic Mama. 
on that as day. Magic Mama beats Indy Beauty. Roman Charity third, Queenie Marini fourth. The Nab family back in the winner's circle. Skylar Nab sang the national anthem in the winner's circle, and now her dad on Father's Day, Steve Nab, wins the second race with big balloons on number two, Magic Mama, from last to first to win. And it came back $72 on the win. Check out the double. $183.60, the trifecta $1491.10, the exacta $334, the super $4,766.10. That's Saul Ariz's first win here at Hollywood Park since he's come back from the north and he is blowing it up. He's brought in some big long shots for a second, paying big balloons. This one, $72 for the win. Congratulations. Number three was claimed by Jerry Holland offer My Little Morgan. The race was run in 112.33. On to race number three. It's an allowance race. They're going seven furlongs, two scratches in the race. Number three, the black. And number five, Memphis. That leaves six of them going. Here's Vic Stoffer. They're off. Kesabitsi hard sent and for the front from real conundrum and a moment in time. Valentine Boy away fourth alongside Daylight Magic and the early trailer is Planet Sunshine. Kesabitsi up the back stretch, a length and a quarter from real conundrum in second. Just a half length to Valentine Boy and a four wide Daylight Magic. Here's Daylight Magic green cap within a length and a quarter of the lead. A moment in time in the red and white is fourth now at the rail, passing Valentine Boy. He's only two and a half from the front, and Planet Sunshine is sixth and last with four lengths to make up past the half mile marker. Kessa Bitsy and Real Conundrum still one two. Kessa Bitsy, three quarters of a length. Real Conundrum now comes to put pressure on, and so does Daylight Magic, and so three of them line up, leaving the back stretch. A moment in time is fourth. He's two and a half off the lead. Planet Sunshine just took fifth, and now the trailer. Rounding the far turn is Valentine Boy, and they run towards the top of the stretch, and Daylight Magic and Real Conundrum kick on. Kesabitsi's gone. Planet Sunshine has closed a lot of ground in the white blinkers, and here's Planet Sunshine closing in the center of the racetrack. It is Planet Sunshine to now take over a short lead. Real Conundrum, Daylight Magic back to third between horses. Planet Sunshine, Real Conundrum, Daylight Magic battles on and takes up tightly. Planet Sunshine, Real Conundrum, Planet Sunshine wins. Real Conundrum second across the wire, Daylight Magic third, and maybe Valentine Boy for fourth. Exciting stretch drive, and it got a little tight down the stretch. There was a Stewart's inquiry as it appeared that number four, Real Conundrum, came out a little bit onto the path of Daylight Magic, but it was close to the wire. After the inquiry, there was no change. The order remained one, four, eight. The winner, number one, Planet Sunshine with Victor Espinosa. The double two one paid three hundred and forty seven dollars and twenty cents. The pick three three oh three seventy. They ran the race in one twenty four point one two. We're gonna be right back for the start of the pick six. A hundred and one thousand four hundred eighty nine dollar carryover. We'll be back in just a moment. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July fifteenth. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Welcome back and welcome to our Pick 6 bettors. This race starts the Pick 6. There's a $101,489 carryover, so this is a key race starting it off. There is a scratch, number 7, Economy of Motion, that leaves 7 of them in this maiden race going 5 furlongs on the turf. The straight maidens are ready. Take it over, Vic Stoffer. They're at the post. They're off. Upbeat mood and lucky student, Shirley Luz Andante, and at the rail, Suncadia hard sent. Silent rides in that mix as well, and on the move. Suncadia and Silent Ride trying for the same spot. 
and there's only one spot. One's going to have to get out of there, and it's Suncadia who checks off heels. Then comes Jerry's Honey Carol, and the trailer is consent. So the leader is upbeat mood as they leave the back stretch. A, length, a half length in front of Lucky Student in second. Silent Ride is third at the rail and two from the front. Shirley Luz and Dante is backing out of it. Passed by Suncadia. To the outside, Jerry's Honey Carol is five wide as they turn for home. And the leader is upbeat mood. Upbeat mood and Lucky Student, one, two. Silent Ride shifts out for the drive three lengths behind. Upbeat mood, who is strong past mid-stretch and running beautifully. Upbeat mood is now three lengths in front. Lucky Student. And Katie to the outside, but it is upbeat mood. Clearly, best upbeat mood wins by four. Lucky student was second. Son Katie, a good third. Jerry's Honey Carol finished fourth. What a race! The horse that had run previously at Call the Race Course comes over here from Mike Pipey, wire to wire, as the favorite. It was just $728 difference between the five at five to two and the two at five to two. Great race by upbeat mood. Wins the race and starts off the pick six. There was a scratch, of course. The seven, the pick three, paid two thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars and ninety cents. The superfecta, four hundred and fifty dollars and thirty cents. They ran the race in fifty-seven point five seconds. Moving on to the fifth race, there's a field of seven going six and a half furlongs, claiming thirty-two thousand dollars for three-year-olds and upwards. Number one, Peacenik, was the even money favorite. Here's Vic Stoffer. They're off. Peacenick broke beautifully, goes right out for the lead. Via Verde away in second, Stoneside and Streetcar third and fourth. Then Stacy's Hope and Schofield Barracks, and the trailer is Warren's knockout. Peacenick and Via Verde applying pressure, and so these two speed away up the backstretch. Peacenick a neck in front. Via Verde is second by four and a half lengths to Streetcar racing clearly third. Two and a half to Stoneside, fourth at the rail and about eight lengths behind. Schofield Barracks has 12 to come. Stacy's Hope would have to make up 14, and if Warren's knockout wins it, he'll make up 18 lengths in three furlongs, match racing around the far turn. Peace Nick and Via Verde, and Via Verde turning up the pressure even more. In fact, he's put his head in front. Peace Nick is at the rail. Streetcar is coming after the top two now, and he looks sharp doing it. Here comes Streetcar to draw within two of the lead. Stoneside is next. Schofield Barracks draws within seven of the front, top of the stretch. Peace Nick and Via Verde. Stoneside is now moving at the rail. Streetcar is flattened out. No excuse for him. Stacy's Hope closing a lot of ground, but Stoneside has ridden the rail to the lead. Stacy's Hope splits horses and comes after him. Then Schofield Barracks. Stoneside, Stacy's Hope. Stoneside, Stacy's Hope. Stoneside. Stoneside beats Stacy's Hope three quarters of a length. Very close for third between Peace Nick and Schofield Barracks. Speed duel by the two program favorites sets it up for Julio Canani's charge. Stoneside winning the fifth race. Martin Pedrosa, a perfect ride, and Stoneside finds the winner's circle. And we found some big payoffs as well. The early pick four, $7,686.80. The pick five, $16,710.15. Spectacular. There was three claims in the race. Number one went to Bill Spar in a two-way shake. Number three, Stacy's Hope went to John Sadler. And number seven, Warren's knockout to Eric Krulljack in a four-way shake. Moving on to race number six. Race number six starts the late pick four. There are some scratches. Number one, number 13, and number 14. The favorite is number nine, Lamb. Send it over to Vic Stoffer for the call. They're at the post. They're off. Back at you shows speed. Donato is asked for speed to the outside of the unusual one. Kayambi close up. Ultimate decision is there. Lamb is midfield. T Rap is at the rail, then Tribal Nation. Arraignment is third last, then But I crushed it, and the trailer is seeking solace. Donato wanted the lead, and back at you is second, so Donato's a half length in front. Back at you, though, is tugging at Chantal. He wants to go up and challenge. Donato way to the middle of the track now, and so that gives back at you plenty of room to go through and challenge. These two go very fast. The unusual one is third and three from the lead, another three to the Calbred Kayambi. Lamb and T. Rapper next. They've got seven to come. Ultimate decision already pushed along and passed by arraignment. Tribal Nation has 13 lengths to make up, and the two trailers are seeking solace, and but I crushed it. 15 lengths behind dueling front runners into the far turn. Back at you and Donato. 
They are matching strides back at you. Is now three quarters of a length in front. Donato still well to the center of the racetrack. Then it's two and a half to the unusual one. He has by far gotten the best trip, and the unusual one is coming after the leaders now. Kayambi is next. T. Rappa's got run, but he has to get by Kayambi off his heels. Meanwhile, Lamb and Tribal Nation are moving up, and back at you has the lead. Kayambi moves through the unusual one on the outside. Further out, Lamb. Further out than that, Tribal Nation. T. Rappa still nowhere to go. Lamb has taken over a short lead. It is Lamb. Arraignment suddenly emerges. Arraignment, Lamb, arraignment. Arraignment beat Lamb. The unusual one was third in. T. Rappa, a much better than looked fourth. Wow, what a finish. Jose Valdivia Jr., a perfect ride on Arraignment, and Arraignment gets up to win race number six. We had a big payoff on the Superfecta. It was 4 9 11 3. Number three, Terrapa, was a big long shot that actually had some trouble. That Superfecta paid $4,645.40. In the uh, claim department, number nine, Lamb, the favorite, was claimed in a two-way shake by Doug O'Neill. When we return, it's the 16th running of the Desert Stormer Handicap and a sensational field. We're taking a break. We'll be right back. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contest like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Best Fair Hollywood Park. Welcome back, racing fans, and now we're ready for the 16th running of the Desert Stormer Handicap. Going six furlongs, fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, and the field includes turbulent descent, undefeated at Hollywood Park, hasn't raced for six months, goes off as a three-to-two favorite. Let's go over to Vic Stoffer for the call. They're up. Mildly offensive and Izzy rules, Izzy rules to the front. Turbulent descent away in third, then Great Hot and Teddy's Promise, and Switch is the trailer. Up the back stretch in the 16th Desert Stormer Handicap and the leader is grade three winner Izzy Rules and she is four and a half lengths in front from stakes winner mildly offensive in second grade one winner Teddy's Promise is third and four and a half off the lead grade one winner Turbulent Descent is five from the front grade one winner Switch has seven lengths to make up and grade two winner Great Hot is eight lengths behind Izzy Rules rounding the far turn Izzy Rules goes to the quarter pole it's just a length and a half now Turbulent Descent is on the move David Flores is sitting motionless on turbulent descent and she's within a length of the lead. Mildly offensive is next. Teddy's Promise has five to come. Switch is in the center and Izzy Rules is tough to get by. Izzy Rules, turbulent descent, set down for the final 150 yards and now that stride takes command. Turbulent descent, Izzy Rules a great second but the winner is turbulent descent. The 16th Desert Stormer Handicap goes to Turbulent Descent. She beat Izzy Rules by a length and a half. Very close for third between mildly offensive and switch. Five out of the six horses were graded stakes winners. Izzy Rules ran too good to lose, but Turbulent Descent continues his undefeated streak here at Betfair Hollywood Park with a sensational late kick to get past. Mike Pipey's charge wins as the favorite. Three to two paid five dollars to win. And in the winner's circle to present the trophy was Dina Cast, the producer of Dancing with the Stars, a great 16th running of the Desert Stormer Handicap, won by Turbulent Descent. Eighth race brings us allowance horses going a mile on the turfs. Eight of them going with the eight, a slight favorite at three to one. The two, Ransom Canyon, also three to one. Here's Vic Stoffer with the call of the eighth. They're off. Cyclometer and Don Perico both shipped out of there. Cyclometer very fast into stride. He's got the lead. 
Anadote and Kingpin Rhino, then Unix Dolly and Cook Inlet, followed by Ransom Canyon, and uh, tightly at the uh, boy, Ransom Canyon had to check off heels, cost him a couple lengths. Buffalo Billy moves past him. To the backstretch, Cyclometer and Don Perico. They wanted the lead. Don Perico's a neck in front. Cyclometer is second. Both of them trying to slow it down. So that puts Anadote only a length and a quarter behind. Kingpin Rhino is four wide and two and a half from the front. Unix Dolly is running in the clear, fifth with five to come. He's two in front of Cook Inlet. Buffalo Billy has nine lengths to make up for Gogo, and the trailer is Ransom Canyon as they head up the back stretch, and Don Perico and a Cyclometer are still one two. Don Perico ahead in front of Cyclometer. Now these two pick up the pace again going into the far turn. Antidote getting a good trip. He is third and a length and a quarter from the front, about to go after the front runners. Kingpin Rhino is only two and a half from the front. Unix Dolly has three and a half to come. Cook Inlet is next. Then comes Buffalo Billy. He's running on nicely. Buffalo Billy could be heard from late. He's six from the front now. Red Cap, but moving up and doing it nicely. Top of the stretch they run. Cyclometer, Don Perico, Kingpin Rhino. Antidote is there. Buffalo Billy in the center, but he's still two and a half from the front. Ransom Canyon is next, and Cyclometer is holding them all off, but here come about five of them. Unix Dolly at the rail. Ransom Canyon, Antidote, Cyclometer has the world behind him, but holds on and wins. Well done, Cyclometer. He beat Unix Dolly. There's three across the track for third. Smokin' Joe Talamo leads them wire to wire. Number four, Cyclometer wins race number eight. Pays $9.80. The trifecta, four, three, seven, seven hundred and forty dollars and ten cents. That superfecta, three thousand three hundred and eighty-two dollars and ten cents. They ran the mile in one minute, thirty-five point three nine seconds. We'll be back with the final race, the ninth race, with that super high five carryover and all the information on the pick six when we return. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Welcome back, and now we're ready for the ninth race. Race nine is a maiden claiming race going six furlongs. The favorite number eight, Tummel, with Vinny Bednar at seven to five. Here's Vic Stoffer with the finale. They're off. Very slow start for Temple of Gold. Tummel is the leader from Magic Castle away second. Additional demands at the rail third. Hey Polly breaks fourth, then not a hobby. To the outside and Dream Cot. Then comes Bonnie's Bearcat and Storm and Arvin. And the slow start has Temple of Gold at the back of the pack. Additional demands leads up the back stretch. He's two lengths in front of Magic Castle in second. Then it's a length and a quarter to Tummel. Third at the rail and now three and a half behind. Hey Polly has five lengths to make up. Not a hobby is six from the front. Then comes Bonnie's Bearcat and Storm and Arvin. They've got 10 lengths to make up. Dreamcott is next. Temple of Gold is 13 lengths behind, and he's last at the quarter pole, and the leader is Additional Demands. Additional Demands with a two-and-a-half length margin over Magic Castle in second. Tummel's moving nicely at the rail. Black Sleeves, Tummel, if he gets through, he could be tough. Here comes Tummel, and he is up in there on the rail. Meanwhile, Hey Polly is next, and not a hobby, and here comes Tummel! And Tummel has taken over the lead. He's now two in front of Magic Castle in second. Hey Polly and not a hobby, but it's Tummel clear to the wire, and he's now four in front. Tummel goes all the way to win. Tummel won by six lengths. Magic Castle was second, not a hobby third. Hey Polly fourth, and it's close for fifth between Dream Cot and Bonnie's Bearcat. The favorite did not disappoint. Number eight, Tummel was the winner with apprentice Vinny Bednar, paying $4.80, and he won it clear. There was some drama behind him. There was a steward's inquiry and a disqualification. Number four, not a hobby, was disqualified from third to fourth place. So now the uh, superfecta number is 8924, and that superfecta paid $1,302.80. There was a claim in the race. Number four, not a hobby, was claimed by Peter Miller. 
in the super high five. The combined pool was over $125,000, and those numbers, 89246, returned $3,937.40. There was 26 winning tickets. In the late pick four, that pool was over $552,000. The number is 4648, returned $197.95. There were 2,129 winning tickets. In the pick six, six out of six, $22,509.80 with 19 winning tickets. Five out of six, $225.40. In the place pick all, eight out of nine returned $339.40 with 60 winning tickets. For Betfair Hollywood Park's Father's Day card, let's kick it back to Kurt Hoover to close out the show. That's it for Sunday racing and the racing week at Betfair Hollywood Park. Dark days Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Racing resumes on Thursday, first post time at 1 o'clock. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back Thursday at Betfair Hollywood Park.